sure a lot of people are not going to agree with, and that's fine. We're all entitled to our opinions. Um, but I want to talk about 12-step programs and just kind of my view on it. And what I... Okay, so the question. Can you get clean and be in recovery without a 12-step program? Short answer, yes. Now, that's a short answer. That's not my real answer. Because it is so much more complicated than that. And it's so much deeper than that. Because with addiction and recovery, it's not a one-size-fits-all. It, what works for me is not necessarily going to work for anybody else. And that goes for everybody. And one thing, I have been to NA, AA, CA. I, I think those are the only ones I've been to. But I've been to those three different <laughs> types of 12-step meetings in the past. And at the time when I went, I did find them incredibly helpful. And so I have nothing against 12-step programs. I'm going to put that out there right now. I got nothing against the 12-step program. Um, I have nothing against anything that helps anybody live their life, you know, in a more productive and positive way. But one thing about the program that I did not care for was its closed-mindedness to how recovery works. Their way of thinking is the only way you can actually be in recovery is if you're working the 12 steps. And even if you're clean for the rest of your life and you're not working those steps, you're, you're I don't remember their, their word, like a dry drunk or whatever their wording is. It's like you're, you may be clean, you may not be actively using, but you're not in active recovery either. And I think that's a bunch of fucking horse shit. I truly do. A day you're not using is a day you're not using. No matter what you feel like fucking calling it. Like, I feel like just that just undermines a lot of people's progress. And So anyways, um... I disagree that a 12-step program is the only way to be in recovery. I just don't agree with that at all. And I didn't agree with it back when I was going to them. I, I, but I found so much value in going. It, it's like a community and we're all in this together and we're all, the struggle's real for all of us and we relate on so many things and then you have your sponsor and it's, you know, someone you can look up to and... But then again, that's just another addict trying to stay clean and so... You know, it, it kind of helps so there's not like a hierarchy. So I think that's a positive thing because a lot of times when you go to like counseling and stuff, it's like they think they're better than you because they're not an addict or they're not, whatever. So I, I thought that was positive about NA. Like even if your sponsor has uh, you know, 20 years clean, they're still an addict and so they're still like, they're not above you, if that makes sense. So I appreciated that. Another thing that I didn't care for was how religious it was. Like, they say, find your higher power, whatever that may be. And that kind of opens the door to people who aren't a part of any particular religion. But it just seems so religious and specifically Christian-based. And I get that the founders probably, that was their belief system. I could be wrong. I don't I'm just guessing based on the wordage and everything of how the book is written. Um, and how the steps are written. But I, 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 that just doesn't work for everybody. And I think it turns a lot of people off. It turns me off at first. I'm like, I don't believe in all this bullshit. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm going to church. Because it's not helpful to me personally. Um, and saying somebody... I don't know. I just don't believe in the whole philosophy of putting it all on a higher power and it's not up to you anymore. Like, no, motherfucker, it is up to you. And this is my opinion. You got yourself in that mess. You get yourself the fuck out. Like, I just don't agree with surrendering to a higher power. Because for me, that doesn't help. I get that that helps a lot of people. And, and having that mentality of, look, me being in charge hasn't done a goddamn thing, but let's put it on something else. I understand how that mentality helps a lot of people, but it never helped me. I'm like, no, I need to take responsibility for my shit. So that just never worked for me, but 12 step programs are, I think, a great way to enter into recovery. 
it's a great way to get, you know, a lot of the cliche sayings that they have that are actually quite nice. You know, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and, you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. Like, all these little sayings that I got from going to those meetings are super helpful because, I mean, yeah, they're cliche, but, I mean, damn if they're not accurate. Like, they... they it works if you work it and all those sayings are fun and they and they make sense and they click with a lot of people they click with me but I don't think it's something that you have to necessarily do for the rest of your life now that's for me there are some people that probably do need to do that for the rest of their life and I can appreciate and understand that as as a fact um And it's almost like giving up a bad addiction for a good one. Like, they need, like, some people just really, truly need some shit to genuinely, like, focus on. And I don't know. Oh, and by the way, uh, I am now a year clean. As of November 3rd, November 3rd, it has been a year since I have taken uh, my Zubzol. For those who don't know, it's, it's the same as Suboxin. Uh, da, 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 let's see. I just turned 30. So this past weekend was big for me. On November 2nd, I turned 30. November 3rd, I hit my year anniversary for being clean. I don't know you that. I don't know. Um, I feel like... My progress would not be different one way or the other if I would have done it with a 12-step program this time around. I think the only thing that would be different is maybe I'd have some, like, friends from the, you know, the groups or whatever, and maybe that would be nice, but maybe it'd be a hindrance because I remember when I would go, I would meet these people who were really unstable and they were almost a bad influence on me. So, I mean, I swear, it's... My answer to this fucking question is you do not have to go to a 12-step program in order to be in recovery, period. Um, but if that's something you feel that you need to stay clean, then, then fuck me. Fuck my opinion. Go. Do it. Um, people are driving like absolute assholes. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So, I don't know if anybody watching this agrees, disagrees. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear anyone's opinion about this, um, regardless if you agree or disagree. Um, I'm really proud of myself for staying clean and putting my life in a positive direction and doing whatever it is that I need to do to live a happy life that's fulfilling. And it's wild that I'm 30 now and that just don't even sound right. So, I, I, but I do have a really good feeling that my 30s are going to be completely different than my 20s. My 20s were a fucking shit show. Terrible. The struggle was mostly my fault. Just bad choices and shit. Making my own shit more difficult. But, um, I really think my 30s are going to be a really good time for me. So, I'm looking forward to that. But I'm going to go ahead and go. Just remember that there's always hope tomorrow will be a better day.